Welcome back. You're joining us live here on India Today. We're continuing our special election broadcast, phase four of the Uttar Pradesh election that's currently underway. And you see the capital city of Lucknow also voting today. This is considered largely to be a BJP stronghold because Lucknow is voting all the big political leaders of Uttar Pradesh are out casting their vote. Early this morning, you had BSP chief Mayavati casting her vote. The likes of SPs Anurag Madhuria, Brajesh Patak, UP law minister, was also out early this morning exercising his franchise. Many of them are also in the fray. They are, in fact, part of the electoral contest in this particular phase. Many of them fighting from the seats or in Lucknow. So let me just focus right now on what the 2017 results were from Lucknow. How did the people of Lucknow vote previously? Now, as I mentioned, phase four has 59 seats up for grabs. Of these 59, the BJP managed to sweep 51. This is BJP with their allies. But if I were to focus on what's really played out in Lucknow in 2017, Lucknow Kant, Lucknow Cantonment in 2017 went strongly the BJP's way. Rita Bauguna Joshi was fielded by the BJP and she managed to ensure that there was a saffron surge in Lucknow Cantonment. It's pretty much the same script that was followed across. Let me show you now Lucknow Central where you had Rajesh Patak pulling in 40% of the votes ensuring again that Lucknow Central went the BJP's way. Lucknow East and North as well. Let me show you first Lucknow East where again you had Ashutosh Tandon, a minister in the UP cabinet currently also ensuring a resurgent uh, BJP came in fact to power in Lucknow East. Lucknow North uh, at this point again went the BJP's way. So you see that Lucknow is a stronghold of the BJP. They managed to ensure a complete saffron wave across this capital city in 2017. Can they repeat that performance this time around is the question. If you look at the current, in fact, Lucknow battle, there are a few battles that you can watch out for. One of them is, in fact, in Lucknow, Kent, where you have Rajesh Patak, who was previously in Lucknow Central. This time, he's been fielded in Lucknow Cantonment. As I mentioned, he's the UP law minister. So he's squaring off against Anil Pandey of the BSP and Surendra Singh Gandhi of the SP. It is expected that this is essentially a stronghold of the BJP. But what could play a factor is the fact that Rita Bhagana Joshi was lobbying hard for her son to get the ticket from this constituency and it didn't happen. And his meeting, Mayank Joshi's meeting with Akhilesh has sparked a lot of speculation. Now another seat that you need to watch out for in Lucknow is that of Lucknow East. Again, you have a minister, Ashutosh Tandon, squaring off there in Lucknow East. Last time he ensured a huge, huge win by a huge margin as I showed you earlier. Uh, in 2017. This time, Anurag Badoria, SP spokesperson, I'm sure you've seen him many times here on India Today as well, is squaring off against Ashutosh Tandon in this particular constituency. Anurag Badoria also expressing confidence that this time around they're going to unthrone, unseat Ashutosh Tandon. Sadaf Jafar from the Congress is fighting from Lucknow Central. She was the face of the anti CAA. So again, someone who's made headlines in the last few years. She's been fielded as part of, in fact, uh, Priyanka Gandhi's Ladki Hu, Lad Sakti Hu campaign. The face of the anti CAA is up against Ravidas Mehrotra, former minister of the SP from the BJP. You have Rajneesh Kumar Gupta. I want to take this across also to Samad Srivastava. He's going to be getting us details of what really you can expect playing out in Lucknow. Now, the breakdown that I've given to our viewers, Samad, clearly shows that Lucknow went the BJP's way in 2017. Uh, almost every seat of Lucknow, the BJP managed to seal with a very, very comfortable win. This time around, there are a number of aspects that need to be focused upon. The fact that BJP has changed the equation a bit here and there, decided to tweak things by moving some uh, of the leaders, some of the candidates from this seat to another seat. Is that something that's going to help the BJP or is it a gamble that they've taken? See, a lot of happenings have taken place in the past three months. From the departure of Swami Prasad Maurya to Samajwadi Party, the game had begun not just for SP but also for BJP. If you talk about Lucknow, then the most happening seat is Saroji Nagarwear. Rajeshwar Singh is there and as the Brahman face of Samajwadi Party, Abhishek Mishra is there. And as you mentioned, Ashwash Chandan, Rajesh Pathak, Anurag Bhadaria, Sadaf Jafar. So all these faces are going to play a big role in this election. But what India Today has gathered information that in many seats, there is no 
fight between candidates it's this election seems to be much about akhilesh versus yogi on many seats like if you talk about the brijesh patak seat then yes the voting could take place on the face of brijesh patak while the same same could take place on rajeshwar or abhishek mishra but there are also many seats where the fight will be on two faces that means samajwadi party chief akhilesh yadav and uttar pradesh chief minister yogi adityanath and from that seat whosoever wins that particular those particular seats will be a major thing not just for bjp but also for sp because all right i will be focusing what really plays out in lucknow as well samar thank you for joining us with all of those details many many constituencies to watch out for in phase 4 of the uttar pradesh battle and stay tuned to us here on india today as we continue getting you all the updates i just want to cut across now to reaction from defense minister rajnath singh who cast his vote just a few moments ago 80 परसेंट कामयाबी या विजय भारतीय जनता का पार्टी को हासिल हो और 20 परसेंट में आदर्श हो इस बार का चुनाव जो होगा वो सुशासन और विकास प्रमुख रूप से दो मुद्दे होंगे इन्हीं मुद्दों पर चुनाव होगा और इस मामले में इस हिंदुस्तान की अव्वल पार्टी यदि कोई है तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी है और सभी मतदाताओं से मैं अपील करना चाहता हूँ लोकतंत्र में सबसे बड़ा दान मतदान होता है